Mango being crazy. All right, I have a video topic that I've been putting off talking about because it stinks. It's awful. <clears throat> but it is what it is. And unfortunately, Sam got out our front door a couple of weeks ago and we have been unable to locate him. So Sam is gone. We went all over our neighborhood and unfortunately we live near some kind of like wooded areas that are hard to get into because of estuaries, like just very densely, like lots of brush and gated communities. It took us some time to get into. Um, my husband went out the front door and as you can see, like we have Sam's perch here. Well, the Sun Conyers perch. It was before and then cookie here and then sam would fly from here through back to the bedroom land up in the windows and he would just stay in here and so my husband went out the front door which you have to go through this doorway into that corridor and the front door is over here so it's not exactly like a direct flight path um but unfortunately, Sam took a random loop and made it out the front door. So, um, I posted all over every bird rescue group in our area. There are quite a few because we do live in a pretty heavily bird populated area. I talked to a lot of people in my neighborhood there were some sightings of him. I actually did find him the day that he got out um, in my neighbor's yard down the street. I could hear him from my driveway. Of course, all day I was babysitting. It was really difficult for me to just go out looking because I had obligations to my family. I spent as much time driving around as I could. Of course, my kiddo had to take a nap. I was watching my friend's kid too. Um, Mike had to go to work. We were just limited. Um, but we did go out and look. I went down the street when I heard him. I saw him up in the tree. And unfortunately, their aren't the way our neighbor's yard is set up, they have a very heavily wooded yard. And I could not get far enough away from Sam that he could fly down to me. Because what I've learned is they can't fly, obviously, straight down. Um, he does not know how to descend that way. So the neighbor was trying to be helpful and was sitting, I was standing up on her deck calling to Sam and he was calling to me and I stood there for about 20 minutes and she was trying to be helpful, but she was sitting like blocking me. So when Sam flew down and out of the yard into a green area, I couldn't get past her to follow him to see where he went. And I generally knew the direction that he went, so I went around, we have a golf cart, and I drove around our neighborhood calling for him. Um, Emma was down for a nap, so I was restricted how much I could do until she woke up. And um, Mike wound up the next day going into the community next door, which is gated. He was able to get in there because in one of the neighborhood groups that I posted on, they said that they had seen him and some people were feeding him some crackers. So we got really excited and thought he might be over there. So Mike went over there with um, the golf cart and nobody had seen him in about, well, since that day that he had flown away from me. So apparently he had gone over there. So I'm really disappointed that I didn't try to get in there even though it's a gated community. Um, because it was so easy for him. I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty. When you have a kid, you can't just leave them at your house. So I had to come back home and then it was dark. So there was really no way to find him if he was nesting in a tree. And I went out every morning looking for him and Mike actually went out at night after he got home from work. And we hadn't heard any updates or anything from him since. I posted in every community group. I contacted our vet's office, which they're the only local avian vet. 
Um, I posted on Facebook. I posted on Instagram. Yeah. I did everything that I knew to do. So, it sucks. I feel guilty. I wanted to film this sooner, but I knew I would just be crying the entire time. Because I just feel so bad. <laughs> you know, Sam was our responsibility. And I feel like I let him down. So, maybe we'll find him. Maybe not. So, sorry I didn't post about it sooner. It's just been really hard. I had a lot of other stuff going on, too. And so, it's just been a really rough time for me. And I didn't want to sit and cry the entire video. So, now that you feel bad for me, you can leave a comment and just give, you know, us some emotional support as we try to like work through this time in our life and how difficult you know it's been for us and I just pray that you know Sam is doing okay and thriving versus you know the alternative we had a hurricane that downgraded to a tropical storm but that came by and it was windy and it's been raining a lot which I guess means that he would have water but He's just out there, so wishing Sam all the best and hope that if someone found him, they're taking good care of him. I think that's all I have today. Thank you.